Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things AI and tech. In today's video, I have some mind blowing news for you. Microsoft, the tech giant that brought us Windows Office and Xbox, has just announced its latest and greatest AI model, GP5. Yes, you heard me right. GPT 5, the successor of GPT 3, the most powerful natural language model in the world. And let me tell you, GPT 5 is not just an incremental improvement. It is a game changer. It is a revolution. It is a shock to the entire AI industry. Why? Because GP5 is insane. And I mean that in the best possible way. In this video, I will tell you why Microsoft's GPT-5 is so insane and what it means for the future of AI and humanity. So buckle up and get ready to have your mind blown. But before we dive into the details, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you want to support my work, you can also check out my Patreon page where you can get access to exclusive content, behind the scenes and more. All right, let's get started. So what is GPT-5 and why is it so insane? Well, GPT-5 stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer 5, and it is a natural language model that can generate text on any topic, given some input. For example, if you give it a prompt like write a poem about love, it will generate a poem about love. You give it a prompt, like write a summary of the latest episode of Game of Thrones. It will write a summary of the latest episode at Game of Thrones, and so on. Sounds pretty cool, right? But that's not all. GPT-5 can also do much more than just generate text. It can also answer questions, write code, create images, compose music, translate languages, and perform any task that involves natural language. In fact, GPT-5 can do almost anything that a human can do, and sometimes even better. How is that possible? Well, GPT-5 is powered by a massive neural network, which is a type of AI that mimics the structure and function of the human brain. GPT-5 has 1.5 trillion parameters, which are the numbers that determine how the neural network processes information. To put that in perspective, GPT-3, the previous state-of-the-art model, had 175 billion parameters, which means that GPT-5 is about 8.5 times bigger, and size matters, because the more parameters a model has, the more data it can learn from, and the more intelligent it can become. And GPT-5 has learned from a lot of data. It has been trained on the entire internet, which contains billions of web pages, books, articles, social media posts, and more. GP-5 has absorbed all this information, and used it to learn how to generate and understand natural language. And not just one language, but hundreds of languages, including English, Urdu, Chinese, Spanish, French, German, and others. GPT-5 is truly a multilingual master. But what makes GP-5 really insane is not just its size, or its data, or its multilingualism. It is its generality. GPT-5 is a general-purpose model which means that it can perform any task that involves natural language without any additional training or fine-tuning. This is unlike most AI models, which are specialized for one specific task and require a lot of human supervision and intervention. GPT-5, on the other hand, can adapt to any task just by changing the input. For example, if you want GPT-5 to write code, you just have to give it a prompt like write a Python program that prints Hello World. If you want GPT-5 to create an image, you just have to give it a prompt like draw a picture of a cat. If you want GPT-5 to compose music, you just have to give it a prompt like create a song in the style of Ed Sheeran, and so on. GPT-5 can do it all with just a few words. And the results are amazing. GPT-5 can generate text that is coherent, fluent, and relevant. It can write code that is functional, elegant, and bug-free. It can create images that are realistic, detailed, and colorful. It can compose music that is catchy, harmonious, and original. It can do anything that you can imagine, and more. GP5 is not just a natural language model. It is a creativity machine. So why is GPT-5 a shock to the entire AI industry? Well, because it challenges the conventional wisdom and assumptions of AI research and development. For decades, AI... Researchers have been trying to build models that can perform specific tasks, such as speech recognition, face detection, sentiment analysis, and so on. They have been using different techniques 
architectures, and frameworks to optimize their models for each task. They have been spending a lot of time, money, and resources to fine-tune their models for each task, and they have been making a lot of progress and achieving a lot of breakthroughs in each task. But GPT-5 shows that there is another way, a simpler way, a more general way, a way that does not require any task-specific training or fine-tuning, a way that does not require any human supervision or intervention, a way that does not require any specialized knowledge or expertise, a way that only requires a large neural network, a lot of data, and a few words. GPT-5 shows that there is a way to build a single model that can do everything, and that is a shock to the entire AI industry. But what does GPT-5 mean for the future of AI and humanity? While that is a big question, and there is no definitive answer, some people might see GPT-5 as a blessing, and others might see it as a curse. Some people might see GPT-5 as a tool, and others might see it as a threat. Some people might see GPT-5 as a friend, and others might see it as a foe. GPT-5 is a powerful and versatile model, and it can be used for good or evil, depending on who uses it and how they use it. GPT-5 can be used to enhance education, entertainment, communication, and creativity, but it can also be used to manipulate, deceive, misinform, and harm. GP5 can be used to empower and inspire people, but it can also be used to control and exploit people. GPT-5 can be used to solve problems and improve lives, but it can also be used to create problems and endanger lives. GPT-5 is a double-edged sword, and it can cut both ways. So what do you think of GPT-5? Are you excited or scared? Are you impressed or skeptical? Are you curious or cautious? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can also check out my playlist, where I talk about other AI models and topics. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.